In this video, we'll begin the discussion of numerical integration and talk about what it is and why it's important going forward in this class. So numerical integration is important for several reasons. Um, the first one is the fact that sometimes when you're doing engineering or physical type problems, you don't really care about the exact value of the integral or the exact number, the exact formula you get for this integral. All you care about is an approximation to that number. You care about what about is this number because I want to use it to estimate the flow rate through a pipe or I want to estimate the friction force on this object. I don't really care exactly what the number is or exactly how I can find this formula. I just want to know about what the number is. So an approximation is fine and we can use numerical integration to give us an approximation to the number for a definite integral as opposed to finding the formula first then plugging in. The second main way this is really useful and important is because there are a lot of functions that we can't actually integrate by hand. We don't have a formula for these functions, and so we don't have a way to integrate them. So things like integral of e to the minus x squared dx, that's a function that has sort of what's called no closed form expression. There's no nice function that we get for antiderivative here. And there are a lot of other functions like this, right? Things like, you know, sine of x squared. Anything that's a weird composition will sometimes fall in this category because right, we don't have a nice rule for integrating compositions, and so this can cause us problems. But if we go back to that first one real quick, if I write a different function, 1 over root 2 pi e to the minus x squared over 2, that there is the bell curve of the normal distribution. And integrals of this function are super important in statistics. That's how you write z tables, it's how you do all these sort of probability or statistical tests are based on integrals of this function. But since we don't have a formula for it, there's no closed form, we have to use numerical integration to figure out what these integrals are. So this is why we need numerical integration to solve all these problems, because we need these values, and there's no way to get them analytically. So what's the idea of numerical integration? Well, the idea is sort of how we got to integrals in the first place. We got to integrals in the first place by thinking about rectangles, adding up little rectangles, and taking a limit as the number of rectangles went to infinity. The idea here is if I take a large enough number of rectangles, then the area from the rectangles should be close to the area under the actual curve. And I've put enough and close in quotes here because we will see later how to quantify what we mean by enough rectangles and how close that gets us to the actual area. That's sort of the point of this section is what are the methods we can use to do this and how close do they get us to the actual values of integrals. And then furthermore, we'll go beyond rectangles here to basically say, I'm going to take little shapes that I know how to find the areas under. And if I tile enough of those small things together, I'll also get close to the area as well. So we'll expand beyond rectangles into different shapes, namely trapezoids and parabolas, that we can also use to get a numerical approximation to these integrals. And we'll see how these all relate to each other and how they compare, which one's better, which one's worse, and how they work. We go through the rest of the stuff in this section. So because integration as a whole is so much harder, there are a lot of integrals that we need to do numerically because we don't have a form to do them analytically. And this is what this section is about, is if all else fails, none of your techniques work, and you still need to get the value of this definite integral, how can you go about it? And the route is generally numerical integration. So we'll see in the next videos methods you can use and how you can sort of get those results using numerical integration.